Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Violet, where last episode, after reporting to Miss Rifle to show her our four court runas Pokemon, we set out to do a little more catching with a rematch against Garchomp before returning to Area Zero to begin our downward descent and exploration properly. Having reached the first Radish Ration, where we teamed with Nimona to defeat a Glamora and now head inside. Yes, I do know where the door was. I saw it on the way down. I love how the game's like, Aww. Character is super shocked. I don't know why, you look like a different color to me. Maybe it's the different lighting in here. Yeah, it's got a kind of ethereal kind of like thing across the whole map here, doesn't it? I mean, it's supposed to be an otherworldly sounding place. The music itself is sci-fi-esque. Not much in the way of cleaning here, are they? Wow, these ancient ruins! No? They look far too recent for that. It appears you've reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Let's like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. We all getting on it, are we? Just in a pile of human bodies. Alexandria, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Do you want Penny to do it? She's actually tech literate. Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabo Poco. Someday, though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Just wondering, do we have a... Uh... I thought we got healed up from just a double bell, yeah. To determine this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call... The interlocking hexagonal plates that compromise shell must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've dubbed terrestrializing. So it all spawns from one Pokemon, does it? There was no way those open books weren't going to have information. You heard the professor. Better press it. Lock disabled. Three of four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Is that a teleporter? Was I imagining that? Ah! The way we're supposed to get out rather than taxi, I guess. Nowhere else to go in here. I wanted to check out the other rooms where the doors are busted, so yeah, this is going great. Looks like you get a decent rest on the bed here if you and your team get tired. Although it looks kind of mildewy. I wonder if my dad ever worked here. I'm a shower station as well, just in case a liquid spill got some drains. All right then, team. Exploration continues. I, I almost never saw my dad in my whole life. Oh, it's a time for the backstory reveal. Penny, shh. He was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. Oh, Lucha! You're interrupting! Why are you like this? I beat you up now. It'd be like God of War now. As I was saying... <laughs> I cook for myself, clean for myself. My boss was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he is my dad. I try not to think too much about it. I try to just be proud that he was this famous genius. But the truth is I would have rather just had a dad who was there, even if he wasn't anything great. I haven't seen him for ages now, unless you count seeing him in the news or whatever. I used to at least get emails sometimes, but even those stopped a couple of years ago. Then there he appears out of the blue. Tells me we've got to come to Area Zero. Ah, some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped to you like that. No, oh, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh, Penny. My name's Penny. We haven't even done the introductions yet. You know, you're pretty, pretty, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. 
Don't call me Pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you too. And then I turn around and the moan is like, Hello? Is that a TM you can use to fight? Battles? Yes, yes it is, Nimona. Yes it is. Xenos reincarnate. Nimona, battle freak. Are you my rival friend? I will follow you to the ends of the earth. Blah! Hello. That's not who I want to target. There's a bigger one. Come back. I can't be right on. Very good laugh. It's big. Big to laugh. I'll just try a quick ball first. Quick ball worked. Fully good laugh was caught. The hardened head from the tail protects the head of the main body as Fligolath whips its long neck around to headbutt enemies. I wave my neck back and forth. Get in the slot! Nice to meet you, Fligolath. <laughs> There's a couple of Pokemon for me to catch down here then. Nice waterfall. Who's attacking me now? I say I didn't think there was anyone in that corner. Is an Espeon over there? Normal psychic, I'm to ghosts. Maybe not a good idea to commit myself to into that. A lot of Raichus, man. I'm like, why do Raichus love this place so much? It's incredibly hospitable to Raichus. Has everything a growing Raichu could need. I'm being cornered. Sassy Mint was something new. There's two different routes to take here. And then this place is all the way down there. It's quite a way to go, isn't it? Jump laugh. We didn't catch Jump Luff until quite late ourselves, so... I know which way to go first. Which way might lead me to a new Pokemon? Tons of jump laughs. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my dad. I got about this far, then I got tapped by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Oh. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy weird metallic machine thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, robot-y than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt my boss stiff real bad, so it's not like I'd just forget. I don't even want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? And I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're really tactless sometimes, Mona, you know that? Danger, Will Robinson. You got this far and something attacked.
that our next base to reach. I'm going to say this slope is more fooly than anything. So I imagine the correct route to go is the way we were going originally. But we triggered story by going this way, so that's not too bad. I can't believe this. I'm so missing my ride on right now. I mean, it's like I can fly over that. Even if I don't make it, I can climb up the wall. I guess they've made us uh, dependent on ride Pokemon now, you know? Truly, truly. Especially since Arceus too. How do I get around fast? A little flower in the corner. Wouldn't remotely be able to tell if one of those was shiny. So what's with all the sparkling effects that make me go like, oh, thing to pick up. Ah, oh. that Venomoth was a little scary, actually. I need Blissey still. There's chances. There's a chancy there could be Blissey's maybe. I do know that, that you can literally look in the Pokedex entry for Blissey and see it spawns various places. Like around the fairy base. Well, that's no guarantee of finding it. It likes flowers according to the Pokedex. I guess whatever Pokemon attacked Babostiff has retired since then, you know? Long gone. I came all out that way for just Flame Charge. I found a lot of Blissey around Fairy Base. I actually did do... That's one of the Pokemon I actually did a little bit of running around to see if I can get. And no, I couldn't see it anywhere. I was thinking of starting, if you know what I mean, like saving it and starting it in front of the Blissey or some or some other rareish Pokemon. If I could find it. No. That plus I had to move on, find the stakes and all that, so I couldn't leave it in that state anyway. Alright, made it down the bottom of there. Not far off. More Chanseys, more Espeons, uh, more Braviaries, more Rocky Dogs. Seems that we generally seem, for the most part, the mainstay of Pokemon that we're going to see. Second research station. About time, too. Phew. Let's, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Ah, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Hey, look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. It's a shiny. Deli. Oh my gosh, so cute! De D D yeah. Delete them! <laughs> did 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 bird! <laughs> Just to be like delete humans. What the Wah Well it's Andrew, it's battle time! Delete the humans!
Looks like he can take his head off. Which is probably a bit mean. I take it I'm still not allowed to catch. It's not even an option. Iron bundle. Let's just hit it hard. Hey, you're lowering its attack, are you? It is... Water? I was going to say it could be flying, because it's a bird. It could be water. Because of the typing. But I think that kind of proves the point. It can't be flying water. It could be either flying or water. Ah, his head came off! Seriously, what was that thing? Damn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scale like that and I'm done for. So I take it then that it was not the thing. That ambushed my boss diff. So used to pressing the Y button now. Yeah, I thought so. I'd be healed up. My Pokedex was updated, so... Gotta catch them all, right? Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. Why did my arm, then? I've been wondering about that myself. Ah, my arm keeps flittering in and out of existence. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Ah, what's that book? Monsters of Area Zero, eh? Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon. I don't really know. What do you think, Olazandri? I mean, they really are just Pokemon. I don't think they're regular Pokemon. Uh, maybe. They definitely do look different, at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex, either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. <laughs> What happened in the future that Pokemon got roboticized? <laughs> oh no, it's Robotnik, isn't it? So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working. A crossover we didn't expect. Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost. But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Olazandri, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Why do I have to do your dirty work? Last I can resume work on the Terra project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. Ah, oh, we love it when our experiments are unstable. The crystal's power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret, but if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. Alas, paradise will be ours to create. So what went wrong? I mean, what went wrong, but it's equally contained to here, right? Well done. Please continue your efforts to the remaining research stations. Hey, Alessandri. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. 
I think you should be the one to carry it. Okay, I have now obtained the Violet's book. I guess the whole thing is that I'm supposed to read it, right? But I've already read it. A record of the expedition the author Heath went on with the Great Cradio Paldea. The book has the name Turo written on it in clumsy handwriting. This one could have a little bit more in it, though. Take care of it for me, okay, Lozandri? <laughs> sure. Now, as long as I can press the actual menu button. I'm oh, sure I'll save as well. Okay, you can't actually read it in this form, though. Can't be. It just can't. But then who? Seriously, a time machine. Feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something. Can't believe I get to battle Pokemon from a whole different era. This is incredible. I'm so glad I came here with you. Is this when I'm ancient? When I'm 80 years old, the Pokemon will be robots? This is true. We're not that far away. Hi right, guys, let's head out. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know about that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. What the hell, man? So Nimona's actually some Pamela princess from a rich family. Oh, no way. That's just stone on my thing. So, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off in a good way. My big sister will probably take up the business, so they pretty much let me do what I want. Wait, you call them mother and father? That's some Pamela princess stuff right there. Ah, Colette Penny, what is your fa family super normal then? My, my family is unbelievably annoying. Like super overprotective, you mean? Not the time, guys. It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird names for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Ah, that's a real downer for you. Oh, no! You stay there. I want to catch you. No! He's pushing me away. If I lose this because of the talking. Don't you dare take his side. Oh, Lizandri, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. No, I can't even save. I can't even throw Pokemon. You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Really? Wish you could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Okay, I can finally save. In fact, it always saved, didn't it? Where's it gone? Come here. So, um... Two shinies. <laughs> Not even that long from each other. Okay, it's super effective. It doesn't want to be caught. Cool. I've already saved, so I'm good. Two shinies in like, yeah, an hour. <laughs> Something like that. What the hell? <laughs> Crazy cool. Okay, I'll nuzzle again. That should take it down to orange, right? Oh, critical. Don't you get praised. <laughs> You're doomed now. Don't choose run. That was really annoying, though, because that conversation was going on, and I'm like, uh, this is a shiny. I can't save it, and I can't throw Pokemon in the back. It was very irritating to go through that conversation. <laughs> and then just be seeing, like, this one is obviously different than the others. Critical capture. Thank you very much.
Well, that's luck. Two shinies in an hour. Especially when we have a new evolution for the game. It's pretty cool. It's got a blue nose. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> no more Kira for rig. Get away. Ah, <laughs> why are you everywhere? <laughs> Leave me alone, guys. I need to go heal my poor poor mop. We had all that expedi- like, <laughs> expository dialogue. Exposition was going left and right, and I'm like, like, like it's right there, and I want to save first. Why won't you let me save? <laughs> My goodness, two. So that's, uh... Four shinies caught in six sessions. <laughs> Two in one. It's pretty cool. How my fifth shiny seen on the game? Noise. <laughs> There's just me trying to read it while dodging everything. It's very hard. <laughs> Probably should save again. It's interesting that, like, I'm pretty sure auto save is off. Right? Oh, auto save's back on again. When that happen? I didn't. T when, did I turn it on? Well, we uh... uh, we're fine with auto save on. Yeah, I might have, but I completely forgot if I did. That means if I killed it, it would have been tragic. <laughs> Pee -pee up. Corviknights usually blue? I'm pretty sure they are. Also, remember that the lighting in here is quite strong and different, so it actually makes everything look a little bit different. Is how I'd put it. Uh... Are you like like this guy, for example, is this is a normal bishop, right? But because the lighting, it actually makes it like coloration look a little bit different. Masquerade, I don't have that. Out the way, guys. There's a Pokemon I haven't caught yet. I've not seen one of them yet. I'll take another crit. We must be past 340 now. The antenna have distinctive patterns that look like eyes. When it rains, they grow heavy, making flight impossible. Or masquerade. I mean, we only recently got Surskit, after all. I mean, dodging between the ducks. Uh, which way? Flamigo's just tagging out in here too. At least it's very easy to spot a shiny when it's in amongst his brethren, right? <laughs> when am I going to see a shiny Raichu then? At uh, this rate, it feels like it's in the cards. Chansey. Okay, that's the next one. I might see what's the other way then.
Well, I say that. I imagine that at some point, Maridon will become usable in here, right? So it just seems a bit weird to explore all of it right now, but it's just in my spirit. <laughs> it must be done. Angry Bishop. Masquerade's all over the place. The frame rate dies. Come, Penny, sneak through. We're having a look around, don't you know? I haven't got Volcarona. This place has deck sentries. That's great. Don't have to evolve them now. Well, if I don't catch it, I will have to. Let's make sure to start knocking you down a little bit then. This one's going to be a longer battle because we're going to have to uh, nuzzle a little bit longer. Flame body burns. Oh, you're gonna have leech life. Oh, if you go back into the, you won't go back into the green from there. I think I'll try to catch it from this state. Though I am burned, so my attack stat is cut. So I think I can go at it a bit safer. No. If it tries to steal more HP, I'll probably nuzzle it again. Not a good ball. Oh, well, we're not burning anymore, so that changes things. Okay, got it. Another one to the decks. That's a rare encounter, is it? Well, no, it's not. <laughs> the Pokemon scatters burning scales. Most of the danger of these scales, not in their heat, is in the way they rub the surrounding air of oxygen. So, yeah, there's a lot of moths down here. Welcome uh, to the decks. Means I don't have to feed my one candy to evolve it now. We just get it. I'm cool with that. <laughs> 